Hello. I want to show you how to use the report generation in ANSYS so that you can save uh, some time in your lab assignments. So after you're done with the analysis in ANSYS, uh, you would like to save all the results, the plots for the stresses and deformations. Um, uh, you could generate a report in uh, ANSYS. You can go down here and click on report preview to see the report. Quite a, a comprehensive report. Um, it will show you all the inputs, the file type, the all the settings that you have set, the materials, and it will also show you the maximum and minimum deformation uh, that is recorded. But it will not show you an image of the uh, deformation. For this, we need to add a figure. So go back to geometry. And before we add a figure, we want to make sure that all of them look the same. What I mean is like you don't want one view like this and another view like this. So you want to make sure every, uh, all the figures look the same. So we, we're going to make a view first. Okay. So try to orient it the way you would like to present it. And then you can click on manage views over here and then create a new view and just apply this particular view here. Okay. Now if I were to reorient it by mistake and I want to go back to that view, you can select it and just say apply the view. This way, you can always come back and set the view in the exact same way. Okay, so you could right click here. Oh, sorry, to add a figure, you can select the result that you want to convert it to a figure, and then on the top here, just say new figure. It'll add a figure over there. Okay, and say you can do the same thing for the other results as well. So add figure, you can rename it to whatever you need to, and then now if you go to report preview. You should be able to now see the figures. Okay. Now there is one issue here. The mesh is too fine, so it's hard to see the colors here. Uh, to fix this, you can go back to geometry, go back to the figure, and in here there are results uh, properties that you can set here. Okay. So one of the things you can do is change this to uh, just say no wireframe. Okay. So you can see only the resulting uh, colors. Okay. Then you can do is you can show the undeformed wireframe. So this will show you how the original shape looks like. Okay. And again, if you if you go out of view, you can always come back and apply the original view. Now this deformed shape is exaggerated. The, you can see all these numbers are in millimeters, so it's a very small deformation. If you want to see it in the actual the true values, you can go back here and change this to true scale. But it's hard to see the deformation here. Okay, you can see as compared to the original undeformed shape, it's the, the same. Okay, so we apply some factor so that it looks visually. You can tell like how it's deforming. You can leave it in the auto scale. Okay, and you can do the same for the other one. Okay, so this should look better if it overlaps as uh, shown here. You might want to zoom out in your view. So if you go back to Geometry, total deformation. This is kind of zoomed in. So we'll zoom out a bit to figure and apply this view. Okay. And uh, the other thing is you can see the colors are uh, the co the colors are separated. So if you want to make them smooth, you can you change the setting over here from the contours to smooth contours. Uh, not really necessary. You can leave it at contour bands as well. You can also write comments. So on the top here, you can add annotations to the figure. So you could add annotations here. Uh, you could also add comments. So we ask you to write a few words about each figure. Uh, you can do that in ANSYS itself. You can go back to your result. So total deformation. Uh, click on new comment. And then you can place your comment here. Okay, so the annotation will show up here, and you can also see the comment that we added shows up here as well. Okay, and all the figures are labeled and numbered, and uh, I think this is much better than doing this manually. Uh, if you would like to edit this document, you can, uh, once you're in report review, you can go to send to and then click on Microsoft Word. 
And then once it's a word file, you can come back here and edit and make changes. So these figures, for example, they don't do much. It's just a single point, so you can delete them. And you can navigate in your report as well. So if you click on Find, they're all marked as headings, so you can go between different sections here. Okay. And finally, um, some cases, the figures that you export here might not be the best clarity. Maybe you want to use it for your presentation. This might not be the best uh, clarity of uh, the image. In that case, you can go back to your geometry. And you can set it to whatever dimension that you want. So let's say, OK, that looks about right. And you can now save this figure as, a, as an actual figure. So as a separate figure, not a doc, not in the document. So you click on, oh sorry, you have to click on total deformation. Zoom to the right size. We'll change all the settings here as well. So show undeformed shape. And then you can click on uh, new figure and then say image to file. And just choose high resolution in this case. And Uh, in some cases, the background, you might want to change it. So you can go back here, click on image to file, and you can say white. Okay, you'll get a cleaner image as you can put it in your report and stuff. Uh, you could also show the elements in this one. Uh, I can sh You can see that it's higher quality. So And yeah, you can see the quality is much better. Okay, I hope this helps.